Charlie D'Amelio lived in the 1800s, she would look like this. Last year I posted these car's nails. Someone decided to order some! My anxiety! That set was super hard and so I had hoped that I could do it again. But to procrastinate I started with the surrounding nails. Use the shimmery stuff to make this car paint color. Come back to those. It makes me most nervous about painting cars. It's how to paint them on such a severe curve. I tried to add so much more detail to this one. I made his eyes more realistic. And I did so much better on this Rusty's logo. I used top coat to make this little dirt kick up behind the car. If you wanted this set to be pretty minimal, for the surrounding nails, I did this little script and then some hot rod flames. I used white at the bottom to boost the colors. Help, my nails are on fire. <laughs> I love these so much. Order yours, visit the link in my bio. Get this man underwater it's a painting doesn't it look like they're normal skin tones i uh, know there are not there are greens and blues and yellows and oranges and pinks in every color you can imagine blues in the hair because i went deaf had surgeries got tinnitus and now i hear colors this has to be the most challenging painting I've ever worked on. The entire background is solid 24 karat gold leaf. I was going through an absolute roller coaster of emotions while I was painting this piece, and I totally think she was worth all the ups and downs. This is the finished piece. I hope you adore her as much as I do. Happy Valentine's Day, I painted you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. What, what was that? Yeah, it's the Von Rodriguez art. All right, bye guys. What is the worst interaction with another human you've had in 2020? I'll fucking go first. I asked a girl out on a date, picked her up, drove her to the fucking restaurant. Right when we parked, she tells me, I don't think I really want this to be a date. What? I had no fucking idea what I should do. So I just fucking go into the restaurant with her. We sit there like we're strangers the entire time. I had just like blown up a little bit on TikTok. I made a fucking video about the situation and I asked everyone on TikTok what the fuck I should do. As I'm sitting at fucking dinner, my fucking phone just goes crazy. Fucking video goes viral. I'm like reading the comments at dinner, laughing my fucking ass off. I get up to go to the bathroom 
and my fucking waitress stops me and she says, I just got off my fucking break. I just saw your fucking TikTok. She was like, Michelle's so lovely. Guys, I was so thrilled to create a custom painting for the one and only Vanessa Sierra. Vanessa is really well known for being on Love Island and she's a major OnlyFans star. She is absolutely gorgeous. I wanted to create something that captured her inner beauty because I got to know her throughout the process and she is just such a genuine and generous person. I decided to add lots of subtle and beautiful things around her to make her really stand out. It took over two months to create and this is what the finished piece looks like. Paint a gouache portrait with me. Watercolor base. Darkest colors first. Midtones and highlights. Eyelashes. Hair strands and highlights. Blue background time. Eel tape. All done. Crazy part is, most people believe that these three things will actually save your life. They don't. Let's pretend you get stuck in a blizzard on a mountain, and you need to stay warm, so how are you going to do that? You remember hearing somewhere that alcohol is supposed to keep you warm, so you whip out your flask, you take a swig, and sure enough, you feel warm already. You feel flush in the face. But it's an illusion because what happens is alcohol, it increases blood flow to the skin and away from your core. So it plummets your core temperature, increasing the odds that you'll get hypothermia and die. So you stop drinking booze and you head off for a cave you see in the distance. Once you get inside the cave, you remember that you know how to make a fire. And so you do. Except the problem with fires inside of caves is it, it starts to expand the rock above you, causing it to crack and eventually caving in on you. So you narrowly escape the cave-in, only to hear something in the background. A grizzly bear was in the cave with you, and now it's charging out to avoid the cave-in. But you remember, humans can outrun bears, and you start taking off the condemned bear, and it just catches you.
how to draw a girl from the back. I got you. Star. First, draw a box. And now add another one. Now you got two boxes. Draw two bumps on the side of the boxes like this. Should get that right there. But yeah, cut the boxes in half. You got a door. And now from this crosshair, come outward diagonally and turn this into a triangle shape. Now add two curves as thin as you want, and then you can start erasing the sides of the box. Erase. You know, make it look more like a girl. You feel me? Add the, add the curves and stuff. Now add a bump on top of the box. And boom, you should get this. Erase all that bull crap, except for the line, okay? And now curve it, and then curve it again. Okay, just like that on both sides. Now add a small upside down triangle right here on the line, making this into like an arrow. Now make this into a heart shape. Happy Valentine's Day. Add two lines for the neck, okay, but don't erase this. Two arrows for the shoulder blade. Make this bump curve downward, okay? Erase the corners of the box like that. Add your head, but don't erase the neck part. Add your details. And boom, you got a girl from the back, okay?